When you look for your food, you meet amazing people and you visit incredible places. Join me as I go out there, get our food, bring it back, and share it. I'm Chad Breely, and this is Salt Fresh and Field Outpost. Bees are the only insect in the world that produce food people can eat. And while there are about 20,000 species of bees populating every habitat on Earth, aside from Antarctica, we've only joined in partnership with one of them, the European honeybee. And if you mix honey with water and a bit of yeast, you can make mead. To some, it's the barrier between humans moving from nature to culture. I've come to Okotoks, Alberta, on a mission to taste mead and to find out how to make it. Situated alongside the Sheep River, it's the largest town in Alberta. Okotoks is the Blackfoot First Nation word for rock. Eric, hi, Chad, nice to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Meet apiculturist and mazer Art Andrews. As far as art is concerned, the most important thing to making great mead is to start with great honey. To have great honey, you need very happy bees. And to learn about the bees' relationship to the land, I've enlisted Jana. She is a PhD diversity specialist at the University of Calgary and an expert in the intricate relationships between insects and plants. She loves all types of bees, but she's never tried mead. When the queen lays an egg and fertilizes with sperm, uh, it becomes a worker bee. If she lays an egg and does not fertilize it, it becomes a drone. So uh, what would they be feeding on right now? Right now they're feeding on honey that they've stored up, but now they're starting to get dandelions, uh, nectar, and they're going to be bringing that in. And as I say, the dandelions, they may not be right here visible, but there's around the houses where the heat is, they're going to all those places and they're bringing that stuff back. Would it be a problem if bees were just sourcing from a monoculture? Uh, well, it, it would because, uh, well, just like us, if you just eat broccoli, uh, broccoli is a really great food, but if you ate just broccoli every day, all day, then you'd start to get sick. And so that's an analogous thing that's happening with the bees when they go and feast on a monoculture. Um, that's just getting nectar sources from one thing, and so they're just getting one suite of nutrients. And so if they eat, if they incorporate more plant biodiversity into their diet, that should translate into a healthier hive. So the health of the, of the general area in, in, around Okotoks is really important. Yeah, every area is important and Mother Nature runs the show. It's not overstating things to say that the bee is likely the most important insect in human food production. It's estimated that 80% of the plant pollination done in North America is done by bees. When we bring the honey in from the field, we're going to bring it in and we're going to run the temperature up to about 100 degrees Fahrenheit uh, because honey is, uh, say, it's very uh, thick and like molasses, if it's not warm, uh, we have to, uh, it won't move. So from there, we're going to take the boxes uh, full of uh, frames of honey and we're going to fill this uh, extractor and this extractor holds 72 frames, okay? Yeah. And they're placed in this angle. Uh, then we turn on the, on the electric motor, it spins it, and centrifugal force will throw the honey out of uh, the frame. It's going to come down through that tube in the front. Once it's full, it's going to be pumped from there into this old dairy tank, uh, and we hook up a hot water heater, which runs uh, hot water through the veins at the bottom and warms the honey just enough to make it clear. And then we'll take it off the bottom and pump it off in the 45 gallon drum. So what is mead then? What is, what is it? Uh, mead is honey wine, and it's the oldest alcoholic drink known to man. And, and it's really, it's just three things. Honey, water, yeast, that's all it is, is mead. And uh, basically you can do different things with that. You can add fruit to it, or you can add herbs or spices, which is called a methaglen. And uh, 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 melomels are fruit added, so we add fruit to it, it's called melomel. Interesting, okay. The land provides flowers and nectar for the bees' livelihood and sustenance. In this sense, art is a middleman. When you drink mead, you are imbibing in the flowers found in a five kilometer radius of the hives by thousands of art's bees. There's a terroir to honey, and this is reflected directly in mead. Buckwheat flowers create buckwheat flavored mead. It seems too simple to really comprehend.
Honey is a truly amazing food. It's only created by bees and can't be replicated. As is often the case, if the ingredients are perfect, it's hard to go wrong. Art and his bees just keep getting it right. Tell me.